There we go. All righty. Well, good. So uh, good morning, everyone, uh, and, and welcome to the uh, Hyperledger Healthcare Special Interest Group, or HC SIG. Uh, we have a special guest uh, that will be joining us today. Uh, his name is Alex Novot Novotny. Is that how you pronounce it, Alex? Zovnatny? Uh, Alex Zovnovati. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, I'll just call you Alex. <laughs> yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. But, but we're thrilled to have Alex joining us. Actually, he was uh, he, he uh, presented his information uh, uh, quite a few months months ago, and he's and he's here to give us an update on the work that he's done. So this is fan fantastic. Uh, but before we uh, get started, uh, as always, uh, a reminder that uh, this uh, meeting, uh, as as is the case for other uh, special interest group meetings through Hyperledger. Uh, is being recorded. Uh, and as well, uh, we have an antitrust policy, and uh, I'm displaying that now. Uh, please feel free to read through it. The upshot being uh, it's, it's all about being a good person. So um, if you have any questions or details, you can feel free to, to take a look at the, uh, the URL there for details. Uh, well, OK, so uh, before we get to Alex, uh, I wanted to go through some introductions uh, um, for anyone that's new on the call. Uh, it'd be great opportunity to introduce yourself and uh, and tell uh, tell the group a little bit about uh, who you are, what you do, and where you're calling from. And uh, and Jose and I were talking a little bit a little bit earlier. And so Jose, do you want to uh, introduce yourself? Sure, I'm Jose. I'm from Costa Rica, and we're currently working in a healthcare project and. We're currently using Hyperledger, but we're only starting the project, so we want to look for more information on how the community is doing, basically. So I'm here. Oh, for, excellent. Uh, well, great to have you. And, and when you say working with Hyperledger, have you picked a platform? Are you using Fabric or Sawtooth? Yeah, we're using Fabric, yeah. Excellent. Oh, well, very good. Uh, well, great to have you on the call, and I'm, I'm thrilled to have you join us, uh, and, and uh, of course, Anyone else on the call, uh, feel free to reach out to Jose or Jose uh, contact anybody else uh, either through, uh, through Zoom here today or uh, we always have uh, our, uh, 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 our Slack-like entity um, that allows us to, uh, to, to communicate. And I'm going to just if, I'm gonna move this out of the way here. So there's a, there's a little link, uh, if you can see it here, for our chat channel. Uh, and that takes you over to uh, our, our Hyperledger chat uh, or uh, channel, which uh, allows you to, to, to connect directly that way too. Um, and uh, I, I see uh, Kent Lau on the call. Um, Kent, did you want to introduce yourself? Hi, I'm Kent. I'm in Hong Kong. I'm a pharmacist and I'm dabbling in Hyperledger fabric. Oh, outstanding. Oh, fantastic. Uh, and uh, are you new to the group? Um, I've been AWOL for a few months, but I'm back now. Yeah. And I'm trying to attend all three different SIGs, so. Oh, we'll wow, see. okay. Your, your name looked very familiar, but uh, yeah, I hadn't seen Thank you in a while. So, uh, so great to have you on the call. And Thank you. Uh, just to make a quick sort of introduction, uh, I know Eric, Erica uh, is also a pharmacist, and so uh, you're in good company uh, with Erica on the call this morning. Thank you. Alrighty. Um, well, so uh, a couple of community, a quick community announcements. First of all, um, we are planning for the next HIMSS conference, which is happening next year. Um, and uh, if you are interested in, uh, in speaking, uh, we're, we're right now in the process of developing some ideas. Uh, where the, the sort of initial thought is uh, perhaps to have a, uh, a conference panel uh, that, that talks on the, on, on the topic of blockchain technologies in healthcare. Uh, the deadline for that is happening uh, early next week. Uh, and I do know where we're, my, my gut would be that that deadline is probably a very soft deadline. I don't honestly don't think uh, the leadership team has done too much on that. Um, but if you are interested, it would be great to have you uh, to join us. Uh, if you have ideas, uh, feel free to contact me uh, offline, and uh, we can uh, get together a small team to, to, to sort of think around that. Uh, and, and particularly if you're already planning to, to go to the HIMSS conference, this might be a great opportunity to, to get engaged on that level. Uh, as well, uh, we have uh, our own uh, Ravish Duan, who is the chair of our payer subgroup. 
Uh, he is uh, kicking off uh, their uh, Maryland Hyperledger uh, meetup, which is happening next week, Thursday. Uh, and what's really great about what, uh, what Ravish is doing is not only is he kicking off uh, his meetup uh, group for, that focuses around Hyperledger, but as well, uh, he's using that uh, time and opportunity to have a, a meeting with his HCSIG uh, subgroup team, which is uh, a great idea. Uh, so details uh, are on the link here, which uh, I just brought that up here. So feel free if you're in the, uh, on the East Coast in the Maryland area and you're free next week, Thursday, uh, feel free to, to sign up and head on over there. Alrighty, uh, so uh, any comments, questions, uh, anyone would like to make an announcement uh, of their own uh, to the team here? Alrighty, well, uh, I, it, I'm, I'm thrilled to have Alex on the call again. Uh, as I said, uh, he was on the call uh, late last year uh, and he has developed a, uh, a healthcare application using the Sawtooth, uh, the Hyperledger Sawtooth framework. Uh, and so uh, we're, we're great to have him, we're, we're thrilled to have him back on. He's gonna give us a, a bit of an update on uh, what he has done uh, since November. Uh, and he's got a, a great presentation to, to give to the group here. Uh, and so I'll ask uh, Alex to sort of take it away. Uh, yes, uh, okay, so let me uh, share my screen. Uh, okay. Perfect. And oddly, it's in Russian. <laughs> <laughs> How could that be? Uh, yeah. Uh, actually, uh, I'm from Ukraine. Ah, okay. All right. Good. Yes. Good. Uh, yes, and uh, I'm familiar with multiple languages like Russian, Ukrainian, English, and some applications and some of on my PC have uh, Russian language. Excellent. Yeah. So, uh, uh, hello, everybody. Uh, today, uh, I would like uh, to present you an uh, update uh, since uh, uh, update of uh, current uh, progress since previous meeting. Um, uh, uh, so, uh, just a few words about myself. Uh, I am uh, Alex Zhuvnovati. And uh, I have uh, 15, plus, uh, 15 plus years of experience uh, in the IT industry. Uh, mostly it is uh, quality assurance. Uh, about uh, This is about management and different kinds of uh, automation. And uh, also I spent uh, uh, seven years on uh, startups. I co-founded four projects uh, uh, as a CTO, and uh, one of these projects uh, is basically based on blockchain, uh, and uh, that is why uh, I started learning uh, blockchain technology, uh, namely uh, Hyperledger and self uh, framework. So, and uh, based on this uh, framework, I developed uh, two proof of concepts. Uh, one of them relates to uh, healthcare, which I would like to present uh, to, to you on this meeting. So uh, just a few words uh, about uh, what was uh, initially done uh, on uh, my previous meeting. So uh, I um, developed a proof of concept uh, on uh, Hyperledger so tools uh, that uh, covered basic use case uh, for a, a patient uh, who has a claim and uh, visit a clinic. So uh, a patient comes to clinic and uh, on reception, uh, receptionist uh, registers a, a claim and assign a doctor to this uh, claim. Uh, and then uh, patient visit, make a first visit to doctor and uh, 
uh, doctor uh, suggests uh, some uh, actions uh, to resolve this claim and uh, finally uh, this patient produces all, all these suggestions and make another visit. So uh, all these actions uh, are stored uh, on the uh, blockchain. Uh, and uh, 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 all, all the sections started uh, uh, on the blockchain. So uh, uh, this proof of concept uh, initially consisted of a few components like a smart contract itself that uh, handles uh, all uh, such actions. Uh, and the command line uh, client, uh, which uh, a patient and the receptionist uh, may use uh, to uh, store some uh, data. And uh, basically uh, after tests to verify the functionality. So uh, on the next slide, uh, you may see uh, the main uh, reasons uh, why uh, I choose blockchain technology to uh, develop this proof of concept. Uh, I uh, do not uh, spend uh, much time uh, describing, uh, describing this uh, because I uh, told it about uh, uh, last time. Uh, on the uh, next uh, slide, you may see uh, you may see uh, uh, as uh, as a, a use cases uh, which can use uh, uh, such uh, functionality. So uh, where uh, uh, this workflow uh, is uh, uh, can be used. So uh, if we keep uh, all such data uh, on blockchain, uh, we can then. Um, uh, uh, use such data in uh, different uh, cases like uh, uh, cost uh, it uh, may simpl simplify cost calculation between clinics and third party uh, uh, service providers uh, and uh, it may help uh, 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 help uh, for uh, clinic and insurance relationships when a uh, patient comes to, uh, let's say, uh, want to sign contract uh, uh, for insurance and the insurance company may check uh, uh, real uh, data uh, and uh, check uh, uh, client's uh, uh, state, how he feels uh, himself, uh, etc before signing contract and uh, many other uh, cases. So uh, about uh, current uh, progress uh, since uh, uh, since uh, previous meeting. Uh, so uh, we uh, worked together with uh, Tracy uh, Kurt and uh, to make uh, this repository uh, approved it and uploaded it to uh, uh, Hyperledger Labs. So this uh, repository is available for everybody and uh, everyone can uh, use it uh, to, uh, can reuse it or, or update it accordingly. Uh, uh, also, I added uh, one more component to this uh, prototype. This is a REST API component. Uh, this uh, component uh, uh, allows, uh, allows to add uh, some extra functionality which uh, should not be uh, uh, based on blockchain, uh, but uh, should be used in uh, different uh, uh, flows uh, in the healthcare application. Uh, and uh, also I added uh, one more component, uh, this is web client. Uh, with this client, it's uh, much easier for uh, 
receptionists and uh, clients and uh, doctors uh, to make uh, some uh, uh, changes uh, in uh, uh, the app. So uh, every patient, doctor and clinics uh, have their own uh, private keys uh, which they uh, use to make some changes uh, uh, on uh, blockchain. And uh, uh, last uh, but uh, not least uh, change is uh, about uh, uh, infrastructure, how it is uh, constructed. I uh, isolated every component uh, uh, in the, uh, I moved all infrastructure to uh, Docker uh, and uh, isolated uh, every uh, component of each other. Uh, with uh, this uh, feature, uh, with this feature, it is uh, much easier to uh, set up this application uh, on uh, uh, in. Uh, uh, clinic environment uh, and also uh, it is simplify uh, uh, scaling process then uh, uh, we want to uh, uh, if we want uh, more uh, clients to join this network use this uh, application uh, also uh, since uh, 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 our previous uh, uh, meeting, I uh, checked the inter internet and uh, found a uh, uh, couple of, uh, at least couple of comp competitors uh, that uh, move in uh, similar ways, uh, similar way. Uh, by the way, one of them, uh, uh, I didn't remember for sure, uh, use uh, uh, Hyperledger uh, blockchain framework, but I assume it is based on uh, Fabric. I'm not sure, but uh, anyway, uh, certain competitors uh, exist uh, and uh, move in the uh, same way. And uh, uh, also, uh, for the moment, we have a few uh, issues uh, which uh, I would like to uh, discuss and uh, solving such, such issues uh, will help us to move forward with this uh, project and uh, it, uh, 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 grow up. So, um, yeah, uh, so uh, first item uh, is uh, advisor. So uh, basically uh, I am a uh, blockchain developer. Uh, I can uh, develop uh, some uh, application. I can uh, uh, program some uh, use case or, uh, and so uh, anything else, but uh, there should be some uh, person who is familiar with healthcare and the current process uh, in the region, particularly in the US, which, uh, who can uh, advise what exactly uh, uh, we uh, uh, should do uh, and uh, point us to the features which, uh, which are useful and uh, maybe uh, point on another features which are not so useful, etc. Uh, also, to uh, uh, going faster, uh, we need uh, extra blockchain developers, and uh, not only blockchain developers. Uh, we need front-end developers to make this application beautiful, and uh, DevOps uh, to. Uh, uh, to manage uh, this uh, application uh, and uh, also backend developers. So having uh, uh, 
if we have uh, multiple uh, developers, uh, uh, this uh, uh, development of this product uh, uh, will be much faster. Um, and uh, also um, uh, another open issue is uh, that uh, uh, before we uh, complete with this uh, prototype, uh, we need to find some organization for our first users who potentially agreed uh, to uh, try this solution and uh, uh, give a feedback to us how uh, easy uh, how it is easy to use and uh, does it uh, solve their uh, problems uh, uh, and uh, etc and uh, last but not least uh, issue is uh, uh, resources like investments and grants uh, because without investments and grants uh, we can uh, uh, bootstrap this project, but uh, uh, it, uh, uh, I assume, uh, will not uh, go so fast as it could be. Because as far as I can see, uh, our potential uh, competitors uh, move in uh, quite fast and we have uh, progress. Yes. So uh, basically, this is uh, all uh, I wanted uh, to uh, report you about current progress. Maybe you have some uh, questions. Uh, yeah, out outstanding. Uh, this is uh, re really very interesting. And um, from where you were in November to where you are now is is fascinating. So thank you so much for giving us the status and uh, very much appreciate it. Um, and let me get our screen back here. Um, so I'll, I'll, let's open it up to questions. I have a handful of questions, but I, I, let's let's listen. Uh, let's have someone else sort of kick it off. Um, I have a question. I, I wasn't here. I didn't hear the the one. Um, meeting that you had a year ago but <clears throat> by the way uh, this is patricia i'm the ceo of signed and i joined a little bit late um, but I, I was very interested in this talk uh, because we're working on, on a similar project uh, you know blockchain for healthcare records and uh, my question to alex is my first one i have our others but the, is why did he choose sawtooth over fabric it's ah, that's a great question i was going to ask that question so thank you patricia uh, yeah, uh, thanks uh, for the question. So uh, uh, before uh, I started working on this uh, uh, prototype, I uh, evaluated multiple uh, blockchain frameworks, uh, including uh, Hyperledger uh, Ledger so tools, Hyperledger Fabric, uh, um, uh, Ethereum, uh, and uh, Exonum. Uh, Ethereum uh, uh, doesn't work for this because it is uh, a public uh, blockchain and it, uh, it is too slow. Uh, it uh, uh, uses uh, proof of work uh, uh, consensus, so it is, uh, doesn't fit requirement. Uh, uh, also, another uh, blockchain was uh, Exonum, but uh, it is private blockchain, but it is uh, basically um, based on uh, Rust language, you know. Uh, unfortunately, I am uh, uh, not familiar with uh, this language. And also, uh, there are quite a small community of this uh, framework. Uh, that's why I uh, decided not to go this way. And uh, also uh, about uh, Hyperledger Fabric. I found uh, Hyperledger Fabric uh, much uh, uh, more complicated than uh, Hyperledger Sotus. And uh, on the current state, I uh, 
decided that all uh, benefits uh, provided by fabric are not actually uh, necessary or required for uh, this kind of uh, uh, prototype. And uh, so uh, uh, the final, uh, my final decision is uh, to, was to choose high temperature so too because it is much uh, less uh, simple to understand and uh, uh, study. Uh, that is basically all. And, and uh, one more thing, I uh, uh, just wanted to know that uh, blockchain uh, technology is uh, very young for the moment and I believe that most uh, uh, and uh, so many blockchain frameworks are currently developing at this time and I believe that most of them uh, will die in few years and uh, some of them who uh, will uh, alive they will uh, uh, will uh, be uh, uh, evolutionated or improved uh, uh, very uh, dramatically. So uh, uh, I, I'm not sure even that uh, hyperledger soft tools is, is uh, the final uh, final uh, approach uh, and uh, the best uh, uh, choice for this case. Well, th thank you for that. And, and I'll just add very quickly that uh, most of us uh, sort of came to the conclusion about Sawtooth, uh, Sawtooth being uh, contributed uh, by Intel, uh, that uh, the consensus algorithm uh, called POET, um, or proof of elapsed time, is, is, uh, w was originally intended to, to sort of be very closely wedded to the architecture and that uh, that uh, that uh, consensus mechanism required Intel chipsets. Uh, there, there's a, a, a chipset sort of embedded uh, called SGX. Uh, that is no longer the case. Which is to say that if uh, you're evaluating frameworks, uh, be it uh, Fabric uh, or Sawtooth, uh, when you think about Sawtooth, you don't necessarily have to think about that dependency on Intel chipsets. That that dependency was re removed. Uh, oh gosh. I want to say the the 1.0 version. Uh, it, was, it was probably about a year or so ago, and I and oddly I found out about this uh, at the Hims conference in in talking with uh, some folks uh, who are developing Sawtooth applications similar similar to what Alex is doing, and and they they honestly they educated me on that because uh, I was under the impression uh, that Sawtooth required Intel chipsets, uh, and so uh, that is no longer the case. Uh, yeah, I just wanted to add uh, 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 thanks uh, for the hands up about uh, Intel chipsets. This is basically uh, uh, one uh, of the limitations uh, why uh, hyperledger tools cannot be used uh, on uh, Amazon uh, services using uh, uh, consensus which uh, uh, works with Intel chipset. So that is why uh, to use Apple Ledger or tools on Amazon, uh, we have to use uh, some uh, kind of consensus, proof of elastic time. Great. Uh, any other questions? Um, I just want to clarify again. So, uh, so Rich just said that you, you can now use the POET consensus. However, Alex, uh, I'm just clarifying. Alex says you cannot use Poet in in Amazon, in the Amazon Cloud. Uh, I actually, actually, uh, actually, uh, uh, proof of elastic time. Uh, this is consensus. Um, uh, this is like a virtual consensus. Uh, or em emulation of a real consensus, uh, uh, which was planned initially to use in the hyperledger soft tools. So, uh, if we want to use uh, hyperledger soft tools on Amazon, uh, we should uh, use uh, uh, like uh, uh, emulated consensus. Yeah. Yeah, and, and just to clarify that, uh, what's one of the nice things about Sawtooth is the architecture is much more modular. 
Uh, and I've even been told, and again, this is a uh, third party or, or, or secondhand, I, I don't know this uh, myself, uh, that um, because of the modularity in the way that Intel approached their solution, it's much easier, much cleaner to, uh, to pop in or pop out different consensus mechanisms, which is the reason why that dependency is, is no longer tightly wedded to the, uh, the, the decision to move to Sawtooth. Which is, which is to say, if you want to use Poet, then you do need the Intel chipset, uh, that, that dependency, because that's how Poet works. But there are other consensus al uh, mechanisms that, that you can use sort of uh, modularly to plug in to this uh, framework. And so that's, that's where the value lies. Um, and in fact, uh, you know, my, my personal thought uh, might be that Sawtooth gets a lot more traction if it is in fact easier to implement than, uh, than Fabric. Um, but that's, you know, that's just my speculation. Okay, any, any other questions? So, so, uh, I, so oh, okay, go ahead. Else? No, wait, some, was there someone else? I had a question, no, sorry. Yeah, go, go ahead, Patricia. <laughs> I, I actually have uh, just two more, and maybe that the, I can put them, put them together. My, my question for Alex is, um, I actually looked at the GitHub code, and um, so he has, uh, the way he um, implemented is, is, he has a really nice workflow where you have uh, a patient coming to the clinic, and so uh, uh, first of all, the, the clinic itself has to be uh, registered in the blockchain, so you register the clinic, you register the doctor, uh, and then when the patient comes, the patient also has to be registered, and then uh, the, I think the patient in this case, I'm not sure, enters a claim. I, I'm just describing a little bit of what I saw in the code. And, and then uh, the patient gets treated by the doctor. That also is entered. Everything is entered as a claim. I would call it maybe like a transaction, but he calls it claims. It doesn't matter. It's just wording. And, and then when then uh, the, the, the patient gets prescribed pills, uh, which he calls eat pills, and then he gets maybe also sent to take some blood test, which he calls pass test. And so my question is, um, I, I'm, I'm guessing that when he says eat, eat, eat pills, it means uh, prescribed uh, drugs. Uh, my question is, where does he store, for example, the, the information about the prescription, about the pills, like such as drug name, dose, and dosage, which is like the length of the time that they, the, per, the patient has to take the drug. Uh, I, my guess is he, he, he uh, stores that off-chain. Uh, because it's Sawtooth, it's, it's a more interesting question because in Fabric, Fabric comes with this CouchDB, which is linked to it. So, so I wonder where he is storing that information. And the, sec the third question, which is linked to, the, to this is, has he run a query? Uh, has he queried the system to, to, for example, say, find all patients with aspirin prescriptions in the past two months? And has he measured its speed? So one question is, where is he storing the actual information of the, about prescription? And the second, and has he queried? Has he run a query and how fast is it? And I'm done with questions. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, thank you very much uh, for these questions. Uh, so uh, let me answer uh, about uh, prescriptions. So uh, in, uh, uh, in, uh, in this particular case, uh, in the current prototype, uh, we just keep uh, all data as a description for a transaction. And uh, this description is stored on uh, blockchain as well. So uh, uh, in the uh, current implementation, all prescription store it on blockchain uh, and link it uh, to uh, transaction. Uh, second question about uh, uh, query. Uh, it is not uh, uh, implemented yet. Uh, I agree with you that uh, some data should be implemented uh, on um, in uh, uh, of chain. Uh, but uh, uh, this is not uh, implemented yet in the uh, current version. Uh, uh, but uh, definitely we need to create uh, uh, one more layer uh, like uh, of chain and uh, 
uh, keep uh, data in sync to simplify uh, query. Okay, thank you. Thank you for the answer. And um, I, I have a question for everybody in this panel. Uh, I have all the questions, I guess. I came with full of questions. <laughs> That's okay, go. Yeah, excellent. But this question is for everybody. I, I always hear anybody who's testing the, or not testing, actually, there are not many, and unfortunately, many systems in production. But um, I go to many blockchain talks, and I hear a lot about transaction speed. And whenever they talk about transaction speed, they're talking about how quickly they can add new information into the blockchain, how quickly a new block can be created and consensus can be achieved. But I never hear about the speed of a query. What can you query? What if you want even a financial blockchain? If you say, give me all transactions uh, of more than $100 in the past two months. How quickly can that be done? That's looking at financials. As I say, as in this case, it would be medical. You give me all patients with aspirin prescriptions in the past two months. I wonder if anybody has any information on anyone doing these queries. How fast are they? Uh, and you know, how is it done? Is it actually done on the blockchain, or are they querying the off-chain database? Uh, or how is it linked together? So I'm very curious about that. Uh, uh, let me say a few words about it. Uh, uh, I uh, have uh, many years of experience in quality assurance and uh, uh, huge expertise in uh, law testing of uh, different applications. And the performance uh, depends on the quite many uh, criteria. Uh, and uh, if you are talking about blockchain, uh, I, I'm not sure uh, it is um, uh, good to say, for instance, that uh, uh, this blockchain may proceed uh, 100,000 uh, transactions per second because uh, it uh, depends on many uh, cases. Uh, first case, uh, what infrastructure do they use? I mean, uh, number of uh, CPU, uh, uh, memory, etc. Uh, next point is uh, how uh, uh, consensus, uh, uh, how uh, fast uh, uh, is uh, how uh, uh, how fast is the consensus? For instance, uh, Ethereum consensus is very slow, and uh, proof of con. Uh, uh, Proof of elastic time consensus uh, is uh, much faster, but still uh, performance uh, <coughs> may vary. Uh, and uh, also uh, this performance depends on number uh, of nodes which uh, used, uh, uh, which uh, work uh, in consensus. For instance, if we have a network, blockchain network uh, where uh, two nodes, nodes exist and um, uh, work uh, uh, and uh, uh, work in consensus, in consensus, it will be much faster than, for instance, uh, 50 nodes, nodes. If uh, 50 nodes uh, exist uh, uh, or uh, uh, interacts uh, in uh, consensus, so, you know, uh, uh, performance uh, will depend on how many nodes uh, will work uh, in consensus. And uh, also performance depends on um, uh, network throughput, where nodes uh, located uh, uh, between uh, each other. For instance, if one server uh, in the North America and now another server in Africa, it, uh, uh, performance may depend on this. And uh, one more criteria is uh, uh, communication <coughs> between uh, off-chain or backend and uh, basically uh, blockchain ledger. So every this uh, state the criteria may, uh, uh, may affect performance. 
so uh, answer on your question, I, I, I think it is not fair to uh, say uh, about exact numbers, uh, how fast uh, is a particle blockchain is. The, so, the, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, sorry, but not. Uh, we can just uh, check, uh, uh, test, and uh, say that one blockchain uh, in uh, having uh, one structure uh, is faster or slower than another blockchain having uh, another uh, structure. Thank you, Alex. I don't know if anyone else can can add to that. I just one uh, quick comment is that there is a consensus uh, built by Hedera Hashgraph. Uh, they claim they can have 500 transactions a second uh, based on their, their consensus and it's scalable to even if you get more nodes, uh, it, it doesn't affect it because of their particular algorithm that, that they use. Uh, so you might you want to look at Hedera Hashgraph. Uh, however, my question was not about the speed of adding a block, but the speed of of exploring the blockchain, of of querying, of getting information out that already exists there. Uh, so I don't know if anybody has an answer to that, and a, any one of, of the other people in in the meeting. Hey, this is Ken from Sintera. Uh, we are using Hyperledger in production for here for some IT security stuff. And one of the things that, without getting into it, uh, when we do a query on the blockchain, it's almost instantaneous. And I don't know, we probably have, I don't know, 100,000 records in that, in that blockchain. I mean, we don't do a whole lot of transactions. More of it is, is uh, querying the blockchain. And it's on, for us, it's almost instantaneous. But we're only looking for one record out of all of those. I don't know if that helps. You know, we're not doing any grouping or any calculations. We're just looking to see if this, if this record is there and just a piece of data that's attached to it. That's all. So, so Ken, uh, just just interesting uh, to hear about that. Uh, are, do you store uh, data on on the chain, or do you uh, link uh, to some no, other this store? Is, this is on chain. Store. There's not a whole lot of data on chain. Okay, because in in my mind it may be yeah you, you may have some overhead if you have mm -hmm. to follow links to some yeah. you know s some external stores or whatnot. But it is interesting to hear uh, that uh, the query time uh, is reasonable, uh, and that would make sense only because uh, you know your ledger is local, so so that w would speed things up uh, quite a bit. Uh, but again, if you're if you're having to sort of walk links in the process of uh, you know uh, completing that query, it could take probably well, take a little um, while. <clears throat> Our actually our hyperledger is actually up in Azure, and it's been it's being queried from on site here. Oh sure, so, okay. So I mean it's I mean you got a, couple, a little bit over yeah a little bit, but but not much. Like I said, it's I, I understand what the the lady's trying to do when it comes to grouping and and that type of searching, but if we're just looking for something simple, it's almost instantaneous and it's as fast as any other database. And and my my gut would be uh, there there is a lot of architectural uh, sort of uh, influence here, uh, depending on how you design your solution. Uh, that could obviously have an in, it, sort of an influence as well. Uh, much much as Patricia noticed noted uh, for Fabric, you know, you have CouchDB, and so you you, you in theory could use that as a as a reference. Uh, other architectures uh, could be designed uh, you know differently. And those those would have implications on on uh, on total speed of query. Okay. Uh, any any other questions? So, so I, I'd like to ask Alex. So, so Alex, um, is, is anyone uh, using this uh, right now? Are are you working with anyone it, sort of in the field for for a proof of concept? Uh, anything on that order, or is this you know is this something that you and your team are working on uh, sort of uh, separately? Uh, actually, uh, you know, for, for the moment, I'm the only uh, guy uh, who work on this uh, project, and I uh, like it uh, very much, and uh, uh, it would be great if. Uh, uh, this project uh, will be successful, but uh, to uh, succeed, succeed with this project, we need to find 
advisor uh, and uh, organization who uh, want uh, who would be interested to try and uh, it is highly recommended to have such advisor and the organization uh, located somewhere in the uh, uh, US because it, it is a quite a big market and uh, uh, yeah maybe. yeah actually that, that that so that follows on to my next question which is uh, it, it it appears that uh, your solution is not uh, in any way sort of uh, country specific, right? And so the idea would be uh, someone from from anywhere around the world could take a look at this and use this really as a as a uh, as a foundational component to a workflow, uh, and then develop around that, uh, depending on what you know what specific country needs needs are. Um, and I, th I think that might be, is, is that correct, your approach in yeah, doing that? Yeah, sure. Uh, you are absolutely uh, correct. Excellent. Uh, and so uh, one, one final question. Uh, so uh, you, you've talked about uh, finding a way to gr grow the team and look for an advisor or what, what I would call a subject matter expert to, to, to work with. What is what's your what's your view going forward? Uh, you know, if do, do you want to are you planning to continue to use Sawtooth? Are you looking at other options? Uh, do you see uh, future uh, growth or features that you'd like to add to this? Uh, what's what's your thinking going forward? Uh, for the moment, uh, if we are talking about this uh, prototype, uh, uh, unfortunately, I do not see uh, any reasons to. Uh, add new features to this prototype uh, until we know some uh, potential use case which can be used uh, uh, by uh, some organization. So uh, to proceed with this uh, project, we need uh, uh, to find uh, someone who uh, will push uh, this prototype uh, for some uh, organization. And uh, uh, once we find uh, such a guy, uh, we can uh, uh, talk to proceed. We, uh, we will know which features we have to add to this prototype and uh, 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 be ready to uh, work on this project. Because, you know, uh, uh, without a uh, person who will push it uh, with customers, uh, there is no chance to succeed. Uh, I spent uh, seven years on startups and uh, uh, three of four projects uh, failed because of uh, uh, we couldn't find uh, uh, investments and uh, uh, enough uh, clients who uh, can uh, try uh, uh, our solution and uh, confirm that uh, this is uh, really uh, uh, really a solution that solves some problems okay well well good and and uh, and we certainly have the resources here through the the special interest group uh, you know we could we could always reach out to, to the full membership and see if anyone uh, in full membership uh, has a has an interest in helping you out and I think that might be the next step. Uh, it's great to have this project uh, under the, the Hyperledger Labs uh, moniker just so that anyone uh, through Hyperledger uh, has access to this uh, directly. And, and of course, we get the support of, of Hyperledger leadership to help uh, manage this going forward as well, which is uh, fantastic. Uh, so any other questions uh, for Alex before yes. we sort of close out? Yes, go ahead. Hi, it's Kent in Hong Kong. So I'd like to ask Alex, uh, thank you very much for this presentation. Um, I'd like to ask Alex, uh, what sort of things have you customized um, from the basic Sawtooth package installation? Um, so uh, this, uh, 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 this uh, uh, project uh, is um, uh, based on uh, uh, two uh, other open sourced uh, products. Uh, 
I uh, used them uh, to uh, implement this prototype uh, and the changes I made. Uh, first change is uh, that I adopted a workflow for healthcare needs to cover this uh, use case. Uh, and the second most, uh, uh, second major change was uh, I, uh, I completely isolated components from each other because you know in uh, uh, regional uh, 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 implementation, uh, uh, in the regional implementation, uh, there are uh, there were uh, uh, components were uh, mixed between each other and uh, I isolated them uh, to uh, have a clear structure how it uh, uh, how it uh, presented. Uh, did, did that answer your question, Kent? Oh, and Kent is on mute, just in case you're trying to answer. Oh, thank you for that. <laughs> I've been okay. talking for about two minutes and I thought, wait a <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, uh, I was just going to um, offer some assistance to Alex because I work as a practicing pharmacist and if he wanted some demo workflows, uh, I could I, I give him some um, prescription data, uh, obviously anonymized, and uh, maybe, um, as a pharmacist, we don't just dispense prescriptions. We also sell um, medicines over the counter and we do counseling as well. So we're not doctors, but if you can't find a doctor, then we're probably as close as you can get to do a demo. Oh, cool, uh, just uh, DM me and uh, we can discuss uh, potential what we, uh, uh, our cooperation or something else. Sure, thank you. Yeah, thank you very much. Yeah, and, and thank you, Kent, for, for reaching out. And uh, yeah, that, that would be fantastic uh, to, to, to follow up on that. Yeah. All righty, uh, uh, any, uh, anything else? Oh, go ahead, Alex, go ahead. Yeah, I just uh, want to know uh, one uh, note um, I would like to uh, let you know. Uh, I uh, have some uh, experience in the expert, uh, expertise on uh, attracting investments. Uh, based on uh, my uh, startups. And uh, uh, last winter, we presented uh, uh, our current startup in Davos uh, during World Economic Forum. And uh, during that time, I gathered uh, quite many contacts of investors who are uh, uh, potentially interested in um, uh, blockchain and healthcare solutions, you know? So uh, this is the uh, most uh, popular area uh, of interest uh, for investors. And uh, I have a, a big, uh, uh, huge base of such investors, uh, which we can uh, communicate to. And uh, if uh, we find, if we can find someone from US uh, who is interested to push uh, this uh, case uh, potentially uh, in uh, America, uh, in the uh, United States or uh, Europe or, or Asia, uh, we can uh, maybe prepare some pitch deck uh, and uh, discuss potential, uh, uh, potential uh, uh, cooperation because I believe uh, blockchain in conjunction uh, whole scale in conjunction with blockchain uh, will uh, uh, will give a, a great profit in future in whole scale and uh, uh, I see many potential uh, uh, competitors uh, moving same way. But uh, 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 I think uh, we can uh, try to uh, try to work with this project, and uh, it uh, make 
potentially may uh, uh, grow up into something big. So uh, if you uh, have some suggestion or feeling uh, you want to attend this project, uh, so just uh, feel free. Uh, let's discuss and uh, plan our next steps. Excellent. All right. Well, yeah, absolutely. And again, we have the resources of the whole of this uh, healthcare SIG uh, available to us. And so uh, one of the things, uh, in addition to maybe what uh, Kent has offered, is we can always reach out to, to the full HC SIG membership as well. Um, I just wanted to add that uh, I've seen, I'm sure we've all seen quite a lot of healthcare projects uh, starting on Hyperledger Fabric. And I just wanted to point out that Sawtooth would be uh, quite a novelty at this junction. Yeah, I would agree. And, and again, uh, part of uh, my sort of uh, observation at the, the recent HIMSS conference uh, was that there, are, there were uh, uh, quite a few more folks uh, that I would have expected that uh, were using Sawtooth. And again, uh, when I queried them, uh, they, they felt, much like Alex had mentioned earlier in his presentation, uh, they felt that uh, Sawtooth uh, was easier in some respects uh, to, to set up than, than Fabric. Uh, and so, you know, in, in my mind, again, this is very subjective, in my mind, it may be that Sawtooth ends up getting a lot more sort of market share going forward uh, as the community at, at, at large understands that there isn't that sort of tight wedding to Intel chipsets, uh, which Sawtooth used to have uh, using the, the POET consensus uh, mechanism. So. Uh, so yeah, we, we may we may see that you know there's there's maybe a bit of a shift uh, towards uh, 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 favor uh, with uh, using Sawtooth in, in the healthcare space. And uh, also, I think another potential feature is integrating the uh, EVM Ethereum virtual machine through Hyperledger Borrow. So, uh, way, way back, I was thinking of uh, once that happens, we can actually cross over with a ERC twenty token uh, to. Um, initiate the uh, Sawtooth service in the background. Oh, interesting thought. Yeah. Yeah, really cool thought. Thank you. Um, I wanted to make a, a quick, I know we're, we're almost over. Uh, I think this uh, collaboration now, I call it like that, between Kent and Alex, where Kent can provide some uh, anonymized prescription information is really interesting. So I would like to, in a way, either participate uh, or, or at least hear back how you're doing it. Uh, I especially am curious about how you're uh, going to uh, deal with uh, uh, PAI or, or personal, no, no, more personal health information, you know, the, um, if you, all this laws, the GD, what is it called, G GDPR? GDPR, yes. Yeah, right. what are you going to store on blockchain, what off-chain, so that, that kind of things. So, um, I think it probably be a hash uh, redirect, so... Um, yeah, yeah, that's that's I, I would argue fairly typical, right? Yeah. But I think Patricia's uh, point uh, earlier on, my first thing would be to, to query the speed of the recall. So that was a really good point, Patricia. Yeah, and and I'll just follow on and and, and Patricia has another great point there, which is uh, as as uh, you move forward with uh, this collaboration, it would be great uh, to to find a way for. For the, for the two of you to sort of status uh, the SIG here, because I think many members here would be really interested to understand uh, how you progress uh, going forward, what are the, some of the issues that you run into, uh, and the kinds of things that might be helpful uh, for others that are just getting started with, with projects similar to this. Great, I'd love to. Alrighty, well, we, we are coming up to the top of the hour. We just have a, a, a minute or two. Um, any other comments or thoughts before uh, we, uh, say goodbye yeah yes yeah, so one more comment please so uh i i check at uh, multiple uh, blockchain frameworks and uh, uh, uh can say that there is no silver bullet to answer question what blockchain is the best and what is right and uh, if you choose uh, uh, Hippo Ledger for, for, so tools for this solution, it is not necessary. This is the best way for this case. But uh, on my experience as a CTO, uh, yes, uh, for instance, if we uh, spend a few months to prepare some prototype and uh, finally it uh, will not, uh, it will have some obstacles or bottleneck from technical point of view, 
we can we can easily take uh, another blockchain framework and migrate all information uh, to new uh, uh, to new uh, to uh, this framework. The, the, the only reason uh, the, the only main reason is that the use case uh, which is handled by this uh, which is uh, covered by this solution does really work and necessary for uh, users and users uh, want to use this solution. So there is uh, not a big deal to use one or another blockchain framework. Yeah. Alrighty. Well, we are at the top of the hour. And again, thank you so much, Alex, for, for giving us an update and a status on the work that you've done. Uh, very much appreciated. Uh, and uh, to everyone else, thank you so much for your participation and great questions. Uh, and have a fantastic weekend. Thank you all. Thanks, Thank everyone. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.